In this course, I will explain how to do parametric variation analysis for LSDINA using OptiSlang based on a practice-oriented use case. As an example, let's consider the impact of a car bumper on a rigid barrier. Instead of representing the entire car, we just let the barrier hit the bumper. The procedure that I will demonstrate can also easily be applied to other components and to study other structural behavior such as stresses, fatigue, and VH. It can also be used for more complex simulation models or even for multidisciplinary simulation workflows. The bumper consists of three relevant thin-walled profiles, which are coloured here in blue, green, and red. We consider as input parameters the thicknesses, yield stresses, and Young's modulus of these profiles. In addition, we are interested to find out the influence of a variation of the friction between these parts. For all parameters, we allow a variation of plus minus 10% around the given reference values. As simulation results, we will have a look at the bumper deflection and barrier acceleration. From the signals, we will extract the maximum absolute values. And for deflection, also the last value to be able to control that the barrier is already snapping back. Later, we use the maximum deflection as the objective or as a constraint to prevent the bumper hitting other components. The manufacturing costs are calculated using a spreadsheet. We will integrate this calculation into the automated workflow and use the total costs as an optimization objective. There are two ways to access OptiSlang, either embedded in the graphical user interface of various parametric ANSYS platforms or as a standalone user interface. Since LSDINA input files are in simple as key format and the solver can easily be started on command line, there are several options for process integration and design optimization of LSDINA simulations with OptiSlang. A LSDINA simulation can be done in ANSYS Workbench and thus you can use OptiSlang embedded inside Workbench as for all other available solvers. How to use OptiSlang in that way will be explained in the course Parametric Variation and Analysis in Mechanical. Furthermore, you can use OptiSlang algorithms in LSOPT so that experienced LSOPT users can benefit from the advanced OptiSlang methods in the, in the development environment they are accustomed to. But in this course, you will learn about the file-based integration of LSDINA simulation in OptiSlang user interface. With this option, you will have the most benefit. You can apply OptiSlang wizards to create a basic workflow and extend it to a complex one by easy and safe to use graphical grip programming. Finally, you can apply all OptiSlang algorithms. You can use and access all LSDINA keywords comments Results can be extracted from all LSDINA binary output files using the output file integration based on LS Tractor. The standalone OptiSlang application is available in batch and in UI mode on Windows as well on Linux. And flexible distributed remote solve options are available to run your variation analysis on HPC systems or in the cloud. I don't go into how the LSDINA model was created, but at this point I would like to give some hints about the LSDINA keyword input file format. From the course attachment, you can download the input file bumper-impact.k, which is ready to use. From this file, you can see an extract here. Please note, the keyword file is written in the standard fixed format as a number of fields in a 80 character string. Most input cards consist of 8 fields with a field length of 10 characters. 
for the fixed format as well as the alternative free format, the number of characters used to specify a value must not exceed the filled length for fixed format. Please see LS Dyna Manual section General Card Format for more information. In principle, each numeric value in that file could be defined as an input parameter for OptiStang. However, LS Dyna offers the keywords parameter and parameter expression, which are supported by OptiStang's input integration. Please study the LS Dyna manual on the syntax for variable names and how to reference the variable names anywhere in the input file. Since you can use only 10 characters for the keyword star parameter, we recommend using the keyword star parameter dash expression, where you can define values up to 70 characters. And thus, there will be no problem with the accuracy of the automated OptiSlang entries. Keep in mind, to do processes integration, you must ensure a valid simulation model and provide references for all required input and output files. In general, we recommend starting a single design point, run manually, and storing the files in a folder next to the OptiSlang project. But for the use case, everything is prepared, ready to use. Please download the three files shown here. Binout 0000, cost calculation dot xlsx, bumper impact dot k, and store it on your local computer in a folder named reference. With this, you can have all files available for the process integration and you do not need to start a single design point run.